Hey guys, Tyler here. Today, I'll give my reaction to the movie 1984 from George Orwell. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Usually in political discourse, many people online refer to George Orwell's 1984 as a guide to how our future is supposed to be because apparently they're against like political correctness, authoritarianism, that kind of stuff. However, when I hear people refer to 1984, I have no idea what they talk about. Like, I know for a fact that George Orwell, he had done books like uh, Animal Farm, but that's about it. And I never, ever, ever read 1984. I never seen the movie before. So for this video, I'm gonna give you guys my re initial reactions to 1984, the movie, and hopefully my analysis will be okay for you guys. By the way, guys, when I said that I never, ever, ever seen 1984 or read the book from George Orwell, I am not joking. Like, literally. This is the first time I'll probably see something related to that book because honestly, I just have no idea what's it about. So let's call a certain YouTuber and then after that, we'll just uh, watch the movie and I'll get my reactions to it. All right, let's begin the call. And hopefully he will pick up. Hey, hey, uh, dislike bomb. Yes? Just a quick question for you. Yes, Mr. Stranger? I'm curious, have you heard of this George Orwell guy? I believe so. What kind of stuff have you heard from him? Yeah, I mean, the guy who made all that like stuff about Twilight Zone. I think he made, like, uh, obviously, like, Animal Farm, and also this book, 1984. Have you heard about 1984? No. But have you heard YouTubers always referring to 1984? No. Huh, it's kind of funny, because I guess, in my little circle, I see so many people just say, 1984. 1984, we're like in a utopian future, like 1984 all the time on YouTube. That's your circle, Sally. I guess so. Maybe it's just my circle. Maybe it is. But uh, tonight I might watch that movie on Amazon Prime. 1984. Yeah, 1984. Well, look at you, Tyler. I have no internet at all. How come? Because I heard this little water pipe broke. In the library, and not as an internet. Oh, great. We'll be able to evacuate everyone. But yeah, I'm gonna watch this uh, 1984 movie because obviously I do not want to look like a fake and a pseudo intellectual, so obviously I need to know everything about anything about 1984. Good for you, Tyler. I'm stuck here with nothing to do. Hey, kitty cat. Hey, kitty cat. Have you heard about 1984? 1984? Have you heard about 1984? I guess you're just too thirsty to answer my question. Alrighty guys, I got my freaking cheese puffs. I got a telephone ringing in the background right now. I also got my uh, soda, Coca-Cola. My favorite drink of all time. And let's go out and find like freaking 1984 on my 4K big screen TV. And let's see if it's free or not. Oh my god, it's actually free. I can't believe it's actually free to see this movie. But uh, yeah, let's watch the movie and see if it's good or not. Okay guys, I just finished watching the film adaptation of 1984 based upon the book by George Orwell. And I gotta say, this movie was, to me at least, very interesting. Just very interesting. It's like one of those types of movies that I need to watch again and again and again 
in order to understand the details and the complicity of the ideas presented in the movie. Of course, it takes place in a distant future. Like, of course, it's like have people being very authoritative. Of course, there's like a lot of propaganda films in favor of war. A lot of people, of course, are captured for stock crimes and other kind of stuff. It's, I don't want to spoil too much the movie. But if the ideas express in the movie exactly the same way like the book, then I honestly cannot wait to read a book. Because personally, like sometimes with movies, they tend to take liberties on the source material. So now I'm kind of curious about the book. Because the ideas in this movie are just so complex and so out there. It's like so interesting at the same time. I might have to watch this movie at least one, two, or three more times to get all the details. But it's just so good. So good. And some of the ideas that I saw in the movies, I could see why people would compare the ideas from, I guess, the source material to everyday life. For example, in the future, basically, like, uh, they have this as their little symbol for that army thing, right? And the same thing for social justice. Like, basically, they share the same exact, you know, simp like that same logo as the movie for, like, uh, 1984. There's also the fact that in the future of 1984, there's this kind of concept of newspeak. Well, in the UK right now, basically, like, that Count Dankula guy got arrested, not really arrested, but got in trouble for a long time because of that pug video. And, of course, he, he of course, did not, you know, get in trouble after all. There was also that whole entire situation with this idea of using pronouns because basically in the UK, apart from Count Dankula, there was like this Catholic woman who just said, you know, I don't believe in like transgender people. Well, guess what? She also got in trouble for wrong think. So this idea of wrong stink and this idea of stock crime, basically like it's kind of real and everyday situation. Also, this idea of the big government washing us, that is also true, because in America, there is some instances, of course, after the Patriot Act, where basically, of course, the government has been spying on people, and don't ask, don't tell, so I'm like, well, what's there to hide if you're not really doing anything bad? It's like, I could also see that in, the, like, right now, this idea of big government washing us, so... A lot of these ideas, I think, actually apply today. I would give this movie like a 4 out of 5. If I probably rewatch it again and again and again and again, I probably would get it higher. But yeah, a lot of these ideas, I can see why people would compare like 1984 to our current like free speech and controversial stuff and political correctness kind of ideas. So yeah, this movie was really interesting and I can't wait to see it again. What do you guys think about this movie? Tell me in the comment section down below. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Take care.